With his magical flying sleigh and reindeer, Santa is able to visit all 195 countries in the world, spanning the hours of something like from 8pm to 6am, which would give him 10 hours. But if Santa was to fly from east to west, crossing different time zones, this would give him an additional 24 hours, for a total of 34 hours to deliver his presents. When it comes to the amount of houses Santa has to deliver to, let's assume that Saint Nick is dead set on delivering delivering presents to everyone around the world. He loves kids, but here on Trick Theory, everyone gets a special Santa gift. As of mid-year, the world's population count was right at 8,045,311,447 people, and will rise right above that in the coming years. If we take the average people per household worldwide, being 4.9 people, Father Christmas is looking at visiting approximately 1,600,000 and 41,900,295 houses. But thanks to an ongoing global census that adjusts for the little to extreme differences between countries, that number raises to a much higher 2.3 billion homes, spread out over Earth's 510 million square kilometers or 197 million square miles. This means that for Santa to simply reach each house, he would have to travel at speeds of at least 15 million kilometers per hour or over 9 million miles per hour, likely traveling faster so he has time to get into and out of each and every house. So if we clock Santa then traveling at speeds of 20 million kilometers per hour, this speed at least gives Santa a full eight and a half hours to break in, quickly place the presents under the tree, and finish his job in Hawaii for a well-earned break, which you hope would be enough time, because at this speed, this means that Santa would still be stuffing himself down nearly 271 million chimneys every hour, and would turn his sleigh into a rocketing meteor that we would see blast across the sky in a blazing light show that would easily be hot enough to light anything on fire that it passed by. But it gets better, as the Santa Claus meteorite barreling at your house would weigh more than most of us would imagine. As we know, Santa's sleigh is pulled by eight reindeer, or nine if we count Rudolph. Nine reindeer pulling a traditionally seven foot long sleigh that weighs 136 kilograms, or 300 pounds, when it's empty. Put a jolly Kris Kringle in it, and that number jumps to 254 kilograms, or 560 pounds. If Santa decided to make a present for everyone in the world, and we use the average present weight of 0.9 kilograms or 2 pounds per present or lump of coal, and Santa has over 8 billion presents to deliver, then Santa would be hauling over 16 billion pounds or 7 billion kilograms of gifts in his magical sack. That's one sleigh that you wouldn't want to have pass you by mid-flight. Then we come to the cookie moment, the food moment, the beer moment. In the United States, households traditionally leave out milk and cookies for Santa claws and carrots for the reindeer, while England leaves out mince pies and sherry, Ireland feeds him mince pies and pudding and Guinness, Sweden leaves coffee, Argentina does hay and water, Japan gives him Kentucky Fried Chicken thanks to an incredible marketing campaign from the 70s, and Australia just gives him beer. When it comes to the US, there are an estimated 241 million homes. Now if Santa were to eat just one average 3.6 ounce chocolate chip cookie or otherwise from every house along with drink the standard 8 ounce glass of milk that's over 54 million pounds or 24.6 million kilograms of cookies washed down by nearly 2 billion ounces or over 15 million gallons of milk and looking at other countries that's over 20 million ounces of Guinness beer from Ireland 55.6 million KFC drumsticks from Japan if if they all gave him just one, 28.4 million mince pies with a sherry on the side from England, close to 5 million cups of coffee, that averages 6 ounces from Sweden for a total of over 29 million ounces, and a heck of a lot of caffeine, with Santa downing around another 10 million bottles of beer when he gets to the land down under. To get the gifts made, Santa has been depicted as originally employing 6 elves, but with a growing population 
information and demand a calculation based on if each elf worked a 40 hour work week, 50 weeks a year, making around four toys or God forbid video game console per hour, working a total of 2,000 hours a year for 6,000 total gifts, based upon our Super Santa wanting to give one gift to everyone, Santa would need to employ 1,340,885 elves to get the job done. But this is Santa. What's to say that Santa doesn't have another way to make the toys? Something that allows him to make toys much faster with far less workers. He already has an incredibly fast super sleigh that doesn't vaporize the minute he launches. What if Santa had something like a fleet of large 3D printers? 3D printers that could produce one present, say, every 15 seconds, thus producing 240 toys every single hour or over 2 million presents each year. And this would mean that Santa would need under 4,000 3D printers to keep up with demand. And if he only needed two elves per printer, that would keep his elf population down to just over seven and a half thousand elves for the machines, with say another 10% added on top of that to help manage the whole operation, giving him somewhere under 9,000 elves. But if none of this was very interesting, then I saved an interesting fact for last. Did you know the faster the speed Santa flies at, the slower time moves or dilates, with time slowing down around 67% if Santa were to fly at 80% the speed of light, giving Santa more time to visit good people around the world, like Superman and even Batman. With you being able to watch the science behind Batman's insane sleep routine right now in this video, keep in mind it's all a trick. See you in the next one.